Sean, Puffy Combs, Puff Daddy, P. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever you want to call it, he is in a world of trouble. I I'm I'm hearing new things about Diddy. I'm hearing people speak out, and it, it, it's just a lot to catch up with right now. And, and this is a topic that's really dominating uh the world r- right now of entertainment so w- w- yeah. what's your thoughts on it man well uh well again you know um <laughs> he's on trial right he's gonna go to trial so it's like he, he ain't been proven guilty of anything you know i know the uh southern district of new york they they filed the the indictment they unsealed it and in the indictment, it alleges that he, you know, was sex trafficking and uh, he was flying in, you know, male prostitutes. Uh, he was having people, you know, at these parties, basically providing them with drugs and, and e- inebriate, inebriate them to where they are more willing to do whatever it is that, you know, he wanted to do. And allegedly there was a camera in, in all these rooms. And so, uh, you know, also they found the, the weapons, the AR-15s with the serial number scratched off, drum magazines, um, racketeering. Uh, like you said. Like a, lot- wait, 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 wait. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm just going to ask you anyways. What does it mean if the serial number is scratched off from the gun? It's not supposed to be scratched off. Like, th- so that's what, what? the way of the manufacturers. That's how they track where the gun was made from. That's how they could track who owns the gun, who legally purchased the gun. When it's defaced, that's that's your if you get caught with a gun that's that's defaced, that is a crime. Because like you're basically saying, I don't want no, I don't want no way they could track or trace this gun back to me. Damn. So, you know, wow. so yeah, so that was found in his house. So uh yeah, again, it's a lot. It's a lot, you know, because coming coming off of the Cassie video of him, uh, you know, you know, the assault in the the hotel, caught that on video. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess she was about to come forward and say say some stuff, and he, uh, well, he settled that. Uh, he settled that the next day, and got you know kept kept quiet on that. But all this stuff was was still coming to light anyway. Um. Again, I do know that they said it's the the freak offs, right? It's yeah. not illegal to have parties, sex parties, whatever it is you want to do in the privacy of your home with consenting adults. Uh, but they trying to say there that a lot of this wasn't consensual and some and there was a just a lot of illegal shit going on at these parties, and Diddy was the mastermind of it. And there were others involved who were helping him. And so I guess going, you know, later on, maybe some of those names will be revealed in court and they might subpoena some people to court to testify against Diddy or, or you know, co- corroborate the, the, the uh, DA's story and say, hey, this is what we know. Tell, tell this jury what you know and what you saw. You know, they want to get them on something. Of course, did he file not guilty? I ain't do it. But, you know, with them saying, we got videos. I don't know what's on the tape. Nobody's seen the tapes except uh, the, the feds. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what's on the tape. Um, But I don't know. Even if you got people on a on tape having sex, like, that's not. Well, I don't know. Well, I'm going to say this. What I want to know, what I want, what I personally want to know is, and I don't think they knew, but in these parties, in these rooms, did they know they were being recorded? Did they know when they walked into these rooms and closed the door and did whatever they did that there was like a little camera hidden in the ceiling fan or in a fucking AC vent, wherever the camera was hitting in a fucking teddy bear? You know what I'm saying? So, like, so you believe do you, do you believe do that? Do you believe it's true? Well, well according to the DA, <laughs> they got video. So uh, obviously, something's on these these tapes, these hard drives that they recovered during the uh the the searches when they raided the the homes in Los Angeles and Miami. And they recovered I believe- hard drives, uh, 
you know, electronic equipment, cell phones, whatever I, they they got, and they got I, something. I know they got I, something. I, 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 I believe it's true because the feds is not going to come knocking on your door and arrest you if they don't got anything on you. So they got something on you. And number two, he's denied bail. Um, I yeah, think it was like yeah. two million on the bill. They said it was denied. They said he was a flight risk. They right. said he's um a dangerous person in the community to let him out. Yeah, see, they're paying and him out for the three. Announcement. And number three, do you realize how many business executives, CEOs have stepped down as of late? I've seen that. I've seen it was that. One by one by one by one. So like I saw that. I saw and uh, I see a lot of people distancing themselves, and I seen like and I asked myself, and I asked you the, uh, last week. I said, "Yo, why? Okay, it's been the thousands of people that have attended these parties. Obviously, it wasn't always some crazy exactly. shit going on. Sometimes maybe it was just a regular party. People chilled and just drunk, had you know, sex or whatever, jumped in the pool, took pictures exactly. with all the celebrities, and just networked. But then there probably was some other parties that was more on the wild side. No, and this is why when you I see Cat Williams, Cat yeah. Williams was saying what he was saying on, on the Shannon Sharp interview. And he was like, when did he tell you to come party with him? You got to tell him no. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, hey, it, it's like an un, a unsaid thing in the industry. Like, you know, you know what type of time did he you on? Know, I, you know, I seen these memes of Barack Obama and LeBron James, and they said, ain't, ain't no party <laughs> like a Diddy party. <laughs> I don't, Listen, man, I don't know what they was doing. <laughs> I don't, again, it's not illegal for them to be there. It's not illegal. They didn't, that, that doesn't implicate, or it doesn't imply that they did something wrong just because they was there I at the think, party. I don't, I, think, I don't think that means I, that. I think a lot of people is going to be brought down, though. A lot of the major names, key players also that we may know. That's one of the reasons why people are actually stepping down. Um, that could be also one of the reasons why people are speaking up on Diddy's behalf also because they don't want to get caught up. But you, if you look at the charges that he's being charged with, he's being charged with one count of racketeering conspiracy, it carries up a maximum sentence of life in prison. One count of sex, sex trafficking by force, fraud, or coercion, which carries a maximum sentence of life and a mandatory minimum of 15 years in prison. Damn. And it, uh, now one count of transportation for purposes of prostitution, which carry a maximum sentence of 10 years. Well, so. man, I, I, I'm going to say this. I don't think he's going to walk away scot-free. I don't think he's going to beat the case and he's just he, he gets nothing. He gets no time. Like, I feel like when, like you said, when they when they come, when they when them feds come for you. They got something. They ain't been building the case and ain't been watching because you know, they didn't arrest him till months after they did the raid. So they obviously was going through these videos, going through whatever pieces of, of, of evidence that they collected from these homes, plus whatever other investigations they was doing prior to the raid. And they just been, you know, they got a lot of stuff. They got something to pin on him. They got video footage recordings phone calls see and see now if see oh my god bro okay so i'm gonna just say this <laughs> like you know um it okay let me ask you this what what okay the only thing he could do is say all right i'm guilty Change his plea. I'm guilty. Uh, just give me, give me whatever y'all gonna give me all the time y'all gonna give me, which I don't see him doing that. Or, I, what's the lowest time I can get? What's the least amount of time I gotta do? And I'll give I, you this, 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 and this, whatever, I don't, whatever I, names, I, whatever locations. I, I'll give you that. I think I think the 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 DA who's ever prosecuting it I think they they're controlling everything right now because they got all the evidence that they need. Diddy they don't need any they don't need a testimony or confession from Diddy. 
They don't need him to snitch on anybody. They got all of that already. They got all that evidence. The phone calls, the videos, the text messaging, all that surveillance footage. They got all of that already. I felt, so. I felt yeah, I, I, like I was saying, I feel like, you know, you know, uh, in order to just like expedite the trial or to, just to get it, just to not not piss the judge off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, look, what can I offer y'all? To, to 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 alleviate some of this these charges what can i do and then and, you know and in that situation now he might have to you know give up names and and, and you know bring down some other people that's the scary part because for one we've seen this same thing happen with epstein when epstein um you know when they came and got him and he was sitting in the in the jail and you know he was waiting to waiting to go to trial. Something happened to him. Now allegedly, he took himself out the game, which none of us really believe that shit. It just so happened at the time when he allegedly, you know, took himself out the game. The cameras leading down the hallway to his cell. The cameras were malfunctioning. They wasn't the cameras wasn't on, and. Somebody went in his cell and, and got him up out of there so he could keep his mouth shut. That's how what I believe. You know what I'm saying? In the in the turn in the case of Diddy, I, I heard he was on like suicide watch. And I'm like, damn, bro. They <laughs> y'all need, I don't know. Cause Diddy's a high profile a bit public figure, a very high profile. Partied with politicians, he's party with athletes, actors. Musicians, you name it, he's he know all of them. They pretty much all been to his party. You seen Jonah Hill, you seen the fucking presidents, you seen the, the NBA players, football players, all at his parties. Again, nothing wrong with going to a party. But, but if there's illegal activities going on and the, and the feds got evidence that you was either a providing drugs. Uh, you know, trafficking, whatever people and prostitution and all this shit, they got enough to where they can get a conviction for something. So, so, so here's another thing that kind of. This is this is this is a call. This is a. But take the trial out of it. So let's just take this. Go ahead. So you look at the CEOs that has resigned since Diddy's arrest. The first one. Is CEO uh, Kevin Lyles from uh, 300 Electra, yeah. John Donahue, Nike CEO, Cass Kabayashi, Warner Music Japan, Randy Goodman, Sony Music Nashville, Robert Sumas, Village Supermarket, Barat Masrani, TD Bank, David Gobert. Air wellness cannabis operator. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm not <laughs> sure. Is that a coincidence to you since his arrest that happened? Yeah, that's crazy. It looks crazy. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if there's a direct connection between all of those. Well, maybe Kevin oh, Lyles. On, man. <laughs> maybe Kevin Lyles. I don't know what all you're business t- ventures he did he was involved me, in. You're telling me all you tell you're telling me did he's arrest. <laughs> Out of nowhere, these CEOs start start stepping down and resign. It, 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 it's just it or, happens. Or, they, or do they feel like do they feel like the hammer about to drop down on them too? Or or, or they maybe, names are maybe. gonna come up in court or something? And then now maybe they want to save themselves the public embarrassment. And so let me step down as CEO because I already know shit about the defend. Let me go and get my ducks in a row and prepare. Or whatever you know, whatever the storm is is on the way. They, they are. This is just too obvious for me, and they are, they have some involvement in it, man. They just it has to be though, man. Well, you know, time will tell. You know, uh, but it does look crazy. It looks suspicious, and again. Again, I we 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 all feel like yes, there are more names that are going to be brought up, and you know we just waiting. I'm not messy like that. Like I don't like want to be in nobody else's business. That's not my thing. But this should be like this is like the one of the biggest stories of this year. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a big story when they first raided his house. 
both of the mansions. You know, so it's it's becoming a bigger story now when you start hearing this and these details and these small allegations and these all these uh civil lawsuits popping up. I, I, I could say for before this, like I was gonna say, before this, for the last 20 some years, we've been hearing stories about Diddy. Not necessarily this level, but it was always, you know, always rumors of this. He might have been involved in that. He might have did had this happen to this person. You know, uh, he's got a temper, you know, the shine, the shine shit in the club. You know what I'm saying? Even with the 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 locks giving them they publishing, and they had to go on this public, you know, this public whole little campaign to get themselves free, free the locks. You know, Diddy has never been the clean image guy he, he portrays himself to be. Now, let's do call out some of the good stuff when he was trying to, he was doing Rock the Vote. He's trying to yeah. inspire youth to come out and vote. And he's giving away, but, you know, stuff but, and scholarships. And But all know. bad, all bad people do good things, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, but I, I, I just I don't. I, but I'm just saying we've been hearing stuff about him for for his whole career. So it is mm-hmm. like a lot of this stuff not surprising. You know, I'm not shocked. Now, am I absolutely saying all of it's true? I'm not gonna say that. I'm I'm not involved. I don't have no evidence in front of me. I'm just hearing what being reported. But you know, when you when you see when you see the Cassie video. First of all, he already okay. So when he first denied this shit, when he first denied the Cassie thing, it was like, all right. Then the video come out. Then you settle. Yeah, I didn't even need to see the video. I did not need to see the video. You settling the next day was was already telling enough to say, yeah, something happened to that lady to where you wanted to keep her quiet, where you was willing to pay her. Whatever amount of money she got. So, so I got. Okay, so, so there's that. So I, so I but got. But then the, there's the apology. You remember that apology video? Oh, oh I was yeah. just in a messed up place. You put out an apology, but Pete, the public really felt like, bro, you, you, you only saying sorry because the video came out. We, if you would have made an apology video before the video came out, it was. It would have. It would have went. It would have went. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. It just wasn't sincere because it was like you only saying that because we all see the video. We're watching you. Do this to this woman when you just said you never did this. Now you're sorry. Like, no, we so the public already was like, get out of here with that fake apology shit. I but, I I think when they raided his house the first time, I'm not sure if they were looking for him or not, but he happened not to be there. Right, I right. Think he, I think he should have just turned himself in. Uh, I think it would it would have been more easier on him. But I, I wanted to give you more information of why his bail bail got denied um they felt like he was a flight risk and he which is true (laughs) which is true (laughs) he had he had access to large sums of money which Uh, is true (laughs) the district attorney actually they said that if he was free they feel like he will continue to reach out to witnesses and victims in an effort to get them to back down Right. The right. government actually revealed several of witnesses they interviewed and they already expressed a fear of Diddy who co- who contacted them at they received grand jury subpoenas. Oh damn. So um damn. Yeah. So he he that that looked bad. That looked guilty. That looks bad when you are are basically saying Yo, keep quiet. Keep quiet. I listen. They about to they about to ask you this and ask you this. You didn't see shit. Remember that, or else type shit. I don't know if that's how he. I don't know if he threatened him, but normally when you try to get in touch with potential witnesses, it is gonna come with like some type of threat. You're not gonna nicely ask somebody, especially if you really did some shit. You wouldn't even be listen. You wouldn't even be contacting nobody if you had nothing to worry about. And yes, you, you know, is he a flight risk? He could be. He could. He can go wherever the fuck he, he can get the hell out of the United States and go somewhere where they would not find him. You know what I'm saying? 
So I, you know, I it, I wasn't surprised when they when they denied the the bail. Yeah, man. he do have access to. He can he can get out of the country with with or without a passport. He ain't need a damn passport well, to get out well, of here. Yeah, his pat and his passport have been sur surrendered to authorities. Yeah, but you but you think he still couldn't have got out? The, a lot of people no. who got out the country didn't have a passport when they was on a run. And and uh, his entire family's passport has been surrendered. Yeah, out. just in case. Like, you ain't finna know because they might need to subpoena them. Y'all finna, like, he could say, hey, all of us, we all getting out of here. <laughs> I didn't I didn't move some money, whatever, to a, a, a undisclosed location. I, I didn't, you know, sh shipped around some funds, offshore accounts. We could live, we could live good still. Probably not as good as we used to, but we can still live uh, on the run. Let's go. They was that's what the the grand that's what the jury that's I'm not the jury that's what the prosecution uh they wanted to convey that to the judge basically like this man has access to money and yeah he's he can get out of the country he can leave. I'm Diddy. I'm taking the plea, man. Um, that's what I said. That's what I said. That's literally what I, because I, I, I feel like, again, I don't know if you could just walk away and just beat this thing clean and be like, Whoa. no, not guilty on all charges. He's free. Well, he and he's, he's free. Now, well, if he does he that, that's guilty. He, he, obviously, he thinks he could beat the charges. <laughs> obviously, he do feel like that. But I don't, I don't think that was. I don't know. What do you do? What do you plead? No contest? Do you plead no contest or you just uh or do you plead guilty? Because if you plead insane. guilty, if you plead guilty, they fuck around and 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 really just pin every of course what they could say, well, you're guilty on all charges. You could be looking at life, you could just do the rest what of your life you? in prison. What what are your thoughts of the people that, that that's actually defending Diddy saying this never happened? You know there are people saying that hey how how you how can you guys celebrate another black man in jail? Uh, man, nobody's celebrating a black man in jail. What what the potential um, the ones who were allegedly abused? They are celebrating what they believe is justice in the day that they've been waiting on. They are celebrating that. I'm just me personally. I, I, I can't say he did all the shit they saying he did, but I don't feel like he's squeaky clean either. And I feel like, yeah, it's it, it, I don't know what's on them tapes, bro. But that's that's crazy anyway, just to even have tapes. Why? Why are these people being recorded? Like, you know, so it's, it's too much janky, murky shit going on, man. Mm, yeah. I, you know, so I don't know. Just let the cards play how they going to play. But yeah, if, man. I feel I, like I a plea is a, a plea deal is the best I mean, thing. I hope I hope it works. I I mean I hope everything works out though. At the end of the day, um, works out like what? What does work out mean? People get justice, man. The victims, the, like they mean the victims, because not for him. <laughs> yeah, because he's an actor. Because I was about to say, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, okay, because. But but that Cassie, but but, but, but Cassie that, being because Cassie obviously probably wasn't the only person, you know no, what I'm saying? I'm not. They, they they need to step up and speak up. Like I don't think they should be scared, unless Diddy's sending uh his people to those victims. But Diddy ain't even. I don't even know if he got the the phone joint right now. I don't even know. I think they monitor. And besides, you know his all his calls are even if he was able to make a call. All that shit is recorded. They are listening, you know, very yeah. intently. This is high profile. Like, this ain't no regular ass. Some nigga got a speaking ticket in the a county lot, jail. Like, no. A lot, a lot of people's going to go down in this, man. Um, And, and this ain't going to be good. Uh, you might see some names in there, some notable names, big names. In what so. in in what part of the involvement would they have though? Let's say there is a I big name. What did they do? Uh, did I they provide wanna... the drugs? Did they provide sex fa favors? Did they go get some some women and and say here I'm a, I'm gonna put the add these five to the pot 
add these 20 women to the pot. I don't know like what would their involvement uh, be for them to go down. Their involvement because you can't cause here's the thing. Here's the thing. There have literally been decades of Diddy parties. <laughs> so like you can't like every single person that has ever attended a Diddy party is not just gonna be uh guilty by by association or just by proxy. Hey, they, they gotta have you, evidence you of specific you, people doing specific things uh, that were illegal. Technically, you can be guilty by association. But if you went to a Diddy party and you was there chilling and you left at 10 o'clock before the wild shit start happening, well, are you still if, going to if, jail because you was at if, a party? If, if no. They see, if they see a video and they see a notable person in that video, they're gonna get in the, the feds are gonna get in contact with the person. Yeah, they're gonna like, ask them, they're gonna ask them, hey, what what do you know? What was said to you? What 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 were you able to provide? Did, were you asked to bring anything? You know, how, how long, how many times have you been here? What name everybody that you've seen? Ah, it could be this trial could last a while, but again, I don't think I don't th I think it's gonna I don't think it's gonna go to trial. I think that you think he's just gonna take the plea deal. Yeah, I think he has to because they got they got something on him. That's what I said. I, I feel they, like they, this, they, I they should just, take the plea. I believe I, I agree with you. I feel they, like it shouldn't go to no trial. They don't have if you, you try to beat it. Listen, if you try to beat this and you don't beat it, <laughs> that's when you get hit with the book. Mm. You feel me? And you're gonna do all day in that yeah, motherfucker. That's life. Two of yes, those you're gonna do that's all day. L WAP <laughs> life without parole, like. I don't know. It's just not, like you said, it don't look good. It don't look good. Mm, well, and, man. And, and and if and if you're Diddy, and if you know if you know you did something, and you know they got tapes, you don't know what exactly. You don't know what they got. You don't remember what day it was. What what party? Which party are they looking at? What what home was this? What what. What event was this? What uh, where what room was I in? Like I sound like Charlie Clips. Guess which room I'm in. But but it's like if you're Diddy, you don't know exactly what they know. You don't know exactly every fucking thing they're looking at. So you you can't. You're trying to. How could you defend against some shit you might have forgot? Especially if you know you did uh. something. Man. So this is this this where you gotta just hit your lawyer and say, look, man. Get with the prosecution. Uh, get me the best deal you can get me. Yeah, or take the plea. <laughs> All right. Man.